here at BoxingVoice.com with CEO of Main Events, Kathy Duva. Kathy, what did you think of tonight's event? Oh, I think it was everything we had hoped it would be and more. <laughs> I, I, Gabriel made such a statement, which is what he, we, we really hoped he was going to do. And I, I don't think he could have made a better statement than, than, than knocking out somebody like Sikou Pal, who's a tremendous fighter who people don't knock out. <laughs> So I, I was on the Twitter feed, and uh, Oscar De La Hoya took a shot at you guys. And I don't want to bring that up, but he was like, okay, he, he, he said that you guys don't do co-promotion. But you know what? Gabe Rosado threw his name in the ring for Canelo Alvarez. How about that co-promotion? We actually tweeted back to him that we thought of a really good co-promotion, too. And why don't we do this with Alvarez? And, of course, that's our goal. That's Gabriel's goal. And, you know, I hear they're looking for an opponent. Well, every... Because, uh, because uh, what you call it, they didn't come to terms with um, Kirkland. You know, there's that... that the, the well, no, well, the fight got made and canceled because Kirkland got injured. Uh, it's like a little Madden curse. But that being said, Canelo <laughs> needs an opponent for December 15th. So we're not going to talk more about that. But what we are going to talk about is June 16th. You have a great car lined up. How excited are you for Adamic Chambers. Oh, my God. Well, again, we're going to have Prudential Center with 10,000 crazy Polish people screaming and yelling their heads off. As always, it's a party when Tomas Ademek fights. And uh, with Eddie a- a- Chambers, we've, we've got him in what I would think is probably the most competitive fight he will have had other than Klitschko. So it's uh, going to be a great challenge for him. It's a great challenge for Eddie. And the winner is going to be in, a, in an important place in the heavyweight division. Now, on your undercard, you got one of my favorite fighters, Mr. Brian Bye Bye Jennings. Should he beat Steve Collins, what is the future outlook for such a good heavyweight American prospect? Well, well, obviously we love him too. You can't help but love him. We plan to bring him back at least two more times on NBC this year and uh, have even bigger plans for him next year. And I just got to say I love the NBC Sports card. You guys are doing a lot with a little. So just keep up the good work. And if there's anything you want to say to anyone that listens to TheBoxingVoice.com, now is your time, Kathy. Well, thank you, Victor. Thank you for your support. Thank you, everyone out there. Just watch the shows. Tell us if you like them. We're going to keep doing our best to keep providing what we did tonight. Competitive fights in an exciting setting, well-matched, interesting matchups. Not necessarily everybody has to have an undefeated record. Just great fights. And uh, as, as long as everybody's excited as they were here tonight, I think it's going to be great for the sport. Just watch. And I agree, boxing fans. There you have it, BoxingVoice.com. Live with Kathy Duva. Thank you, Kathy. It's showtime! Only last week, I murdered a rock.